Okay, folks, if you're watching this video, that means you either want to connect to an Android phone or an Android tablet. Now, the first thing you must do is make sure either your phone, which is an Android, or your tablet, which is an Android, is already connected to the same exact Wi-Fi network that you're going to connect your Miracle Box 4.0. If it is not, this method will not work. Another thing you want to make sure is that the operating system that is on your Android phone or on your Android tablet is at least a 7.1 or higher. If it is, then chances are this may work. If it's not, chances are this may not work. Now, last but not least, you need to make sure you have a Gmail account on either your Android phone or your Android tablet. That is very, very important because this is all going to sync together. Now, if you have everything I just mentioned, you have it connected to the Wi-Fi, you have a Gmail account on it, it is a 7.1 or higher, then that means you're ready to take the next step of connecting with an external Android device. So what I want you to do now is I want you to power on whichever device you want to connect to, and then I want you to power on your MiracleBox 4.0. I'm going to see you in the inside. Okay, folks, we're going to set up using our Android device, whether it's a phone or tablet. In this example, I'm going to use a phone, and I think this may be one of the easiest ways to set up and get all of your information over to your MiracleBox 4.0. So again, we're gonna start off with our regular remote and we're gonna end up using our phone or tablet as an additional remote to give us some additional features. So follow along and we'll get this done correctly. Now, first thing you wanna do is choose your language, which is English. Then it's gonna ask you, do you have an Android phone or tablet? You want to say yes. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you to open Google on your phone. So I'm going to have my phone up here on this screen and we're going to find the Google tab and we're going to open it. And this is how we're going to set up. So let me find the Google tab. There it is right here. Google, as you see, I'm going to select it. I'm going to use the voice part. Actually, I'm going to hit um, OK to go to the next one. And it's going to tell me to use the voice on my Google and tell me to say set up my device. I'm going to do that now. Set up my device. And so it found it and it's actually going to get started. And again, make sure this device is on the same Wi-Fi network that you are trying to connect to. I'm going to hit next. And again, it's going to search for devices and it's going to do everything for me. So as you see it here, it's connecting my device. And it's going to give me a verification code. You're going to see it on the screen. I'm going to hit OK or Next. And I'm actually going to choose my Wi-Fi network. And again, I don't have to use a password. So I'm going to hit Miracle 5. And I'm going to confirm my screen lock. Which means I have to look at it. So it unlocked my screen for me. Now I'm going to choose my Gmail account. I already have one here. So I'm going to choose here Melvin Crawler Jr. And I'm going to say copy everything to my miracle box I'm going to hit yes and it's now going to copy all of my stuff to my miracle box here so it's copying everything from my phone to my miracle box and i'm going to actually be able to do some really cool stuff here so i'm going to allow that to happen and give us some time now once it's done it's going to ask you to install, use your Android phone or tablet as a remote for your TV. We want to say yes. We want to use our phone or tablet as a remote. So I'm going to hit install. And it's actually going to download the remote to my phone. And I will be able to control the Miracle Box with my phone and use additional Android uh, assistant features. So it's installing the app. And again, make sure you are signed into your Google Play Store. It tells me to open up the app. Accept and continue. Continue. I'm going to allow. 
and Miracle Box. I'm going to hit this. And I'm going to pair the device. I'm going to type in what it says here. Two, eight, five, A. Oops. A. I'm going to hit pair. That should match what's on my screen. And it looks like it's paired. So now, if I hit OK here, I'm actually controlling it using my phone. So don't throw the remote away. Keep your remote, but you can actually use it now controlling uh, by using your phone. Now I'm going to hit yes. And I'm going to hit yes. And I'm going to hit yes again. And I'm going to hit yes. Now, unlike the other videos, because I signed into my Google account, it's going to give me some recommendations now. And I'm pretty much already set up. So I can actually use the Google Voice part or assistant. And it's going to ask me to allow. And by doing that, it's going to ask me to continue. Continue. And it's going to say yes. So now, because I did it this way, I can now use the Google Assistant, which is really great. I can use my phone to physically control the, the, the Miracle Box, or I can use my voice to control it. So again, I'm going to hit the uh, home button to get out of it, and let's test it. Weather. Currently in Glen Allen, it's 70 and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be sunny, with a forecasted high of 71 and a low of 48. And tomorrow, it'll be rainy. So, I can now use the voice to do cool things. I can, you know, tell it to do different things. And now, it won't work with every third-party app, but it will work with a lot of them. So, now I have the remote on my phone, and I can use my phone as a secondary remote. And again, I'm pretty much ready to go to setup. And if you just want to verify your speed, you can do that. And I'm getting very, very good speed, as you can see here on the screen. So this is how to do it via remote. You don't need to do anything with Google because you're already in here. And so next, you just want to go down to the MiracleBox tools video and learn how to set up all your MiracleBox tools. You're pretty much done from here.